Welcome to 21st Sports Recap and Reaction for the Baltimore Ravens versus the Denver Broncos Week 1 matchup in the 2015 regular season. And we're going to go over the stats and the scoring summary and give our analysis. But let's start off in the first quarter with just over five minutes still left in the first. Brandon McManus hits a 57-yard field goal. And so it was 3 to nothing Broncos as they got on the scoreboard first with the excellent leg and foot of McManus. So then McManus does it again with just over a minute and a half left before the end of the first quarter as he hits a 56-yard field goal this time to make it 6 to nothing Broncos over the Ravens. So that was the score after one. Then in the second quarter, Justin Tucker gets in on the action as he hits a 52-yard field goal with about seven minutes left to play in the first half as he cuts the Broncos' lead to three with the score Denver 6, Baltimore 3. Then with less than 10 seconds left, McManus kicks his third field goal of the game, this one just a chip shot from 43, which is still a pretty far field goal, but that made it 9-3 to three as the Broncos extended their lead back to six before halftime. So then in the third quarter, less than a minute in, Jimmy Smith picks off Peyton and takes it back 24 yards to the house for the pick six and the score. Justin Tucker adds the extra point and now the Ravens were in the lead for the first time in this game up by one with the score Baltimore 10, Denver 9. Then with still Nine and a half minutes left in the third. Justin Tucker kicks his second field goal of the game. This one from 44 yards out. And now it was a four-point lead for the Ravens at 13-9. to nine. But then, with less than 10 seconds left in the third quarter, Hakeem Tlaib returns the favor from earlier in the quarter. When Smith returned the interception, Hakeem Tlaib returns this interception from Joe Flacco, 51 yards. And that is good for six. McManus adds one. And now it's 16 to 13 as the Broncos take back the lead by three. So that was the score after three quarters of play. And it remained a tight game as this was a defensive battle as both offenses were struggling. But then with less than three minutes left to play in regulation, Brandon McManus hits his fourth field goal of the game. This one actually the shortest field goal attempt with just a 33-yarder, but it's good for three. And that extended the Broncos' lead to six with the score Denver 19, Baltimore 13. So now the Ravens just needed a touchdown to tie it and an extra point would win this game and so they would bring the ball down the field and into the red zone as they were right there looking to take the lead and win this game with less than 30 seconds left but Darian Stewart the former Raven intercepts the ball he takes it out of the hands of Crockett Gilmore and that secures the victory for the Broncos as they win with a big defensive play by Stewart as they hold on to win this one in a defensive battle what a game now, I'll tell you, the defense of the Broncos is their strength this year. Peyton Manning had just 175 yards and no touchdowns. He had one interception. It was 24 for 40 in this game. Joe Flacco, just 18 for 32 and a, just a, a pathetic, I mean, I'm sorry to use that word, but an abysmal, I mean, just 117 yards? I mean, that's just, ugh, that ain't getting the job done. Neither one of these quarterbacks had good performances today. And Flacco threw two interceptions as well. And they were both struggling to run the ball to boot. Hillman just 41 yards off of 12 carries. C.J. Anderson only 29 yards off of 12 carries. Forsett had just 43 yards off of 14 carries. And Allen just 30 yards off of 9 carries. Forsett did have four receptions, but just 13 yards. And the leading receiver for the Ravens was Brown with two receptions for just 25 yards. And Gilmore had two receptions for 23 yards to be their second leading receiver. 
including that one that got away from him at the end there when Stewart picked it off to secure the victory in a very exciting game for sure. Sanders was the leading receiver in the game for both teams, and he put up you know 65 yards for the Broncos. He had eight receptions. And Demarius Thomas, seven receptions for 60 yards. And I'll tell you right here where I am, the rain is really coming down. I wonder if you can actually hear that, if the microphone's picking it up. It probably is, but that's what that sound is in the background, is it is pouring rain here where I'm at. So the rain's coming down here, as I'm not in sunny California. But <clears throat> this one was a defensive battle for sure. And we got some big performances from the kickers, especially McManus. McManus won this one with his foot. Those four field goals, definitely the difference is he hit some long ones too. Two of them over 50 yards at 57 and 56 respectively. Oh, that, uh, what was a 44 and a 33. And he also had an extra point as well. He had a huge day. Tucker hit a 52-yarder. He was two for two, and he had one extra point. And then we look at the defense of both teams, and it was really a defensive game. She saw the two pickoffs by the Broncos, including that pick six by Aqib Tlaib. Stewart had that pickoff at the end of the game to secure the win. So those were two huge clutch plays by the secondary of Denver that really made the difference in this game. The leading tackler was Brandon Marshall with six tackles in one sack. Danny Trevathan had six tackles as well. DeMarco Ware, DeMarcus Ware had one sack. And over on the other side for Baltimore, Smith was their leading tackler, and he had a pick six as well. And uh, C.J. Mosley had two sacks. Canty had a sack, and McLennan had a sack also. So it was a long day for Peyton Manning. So he had a rough outing. And the Broncos did have more first downs, 16 first downs to just 11 for Baltimore. Both, well, the Baltimore really was just abysmal with the third down conversions, converting up just a paltry two for 13. That's just 15% third down conversions. You're not going to go anywhere doing that kind of uh, production. Of course, uh, the Broncos, they had four times as many third down conversions, but it's still not a great percentage, just 44%, but they were 8 for 18 on third downs as both teams were struggling to get you know the ball moving and to get yards. They said uh, 12 points on field goals for the Broncos really was the big difference in this game, that foot of McManus. But total net yards in this game, just 219 total net yards. That's passing and rushing combined for the Broncos, yet they still won because the Ravens put up just a, an a paltry uh, how many <laughs> adjectives are we going to use, right? The 173 yards total net for the Ravens. They did have more net rushing yards, 73 to just 69 for Denver. Denver had more net passing yards, 150 to just 100 for the Ravens. So just really just no offense in this game. Both teams struggling course the Broncos the big bonus in this game was that they were committed you know to uh, the run even though they didn't put up big numbers and even though Peyton did throw the ball 40 times you know they did run the ball 25 times whereas you know the Ravens they only ran the ball 23 times so they both really weren't running the ball but the Broncos did eat up the clock with 37 minutes and 17 seconds of possession time to just 22 minutes and 43 seconds for the Ravens. They said both teams were struggling on offense, but the defenses were looking good, especially the defense of Denver, who came up really clutch in this game. And again, it was all McManus in the defense. You know, Flacco struggling in this Tressman offense, as I expected, and Peyton struggling out the gate as well. Neither one threw a touchdown. Not one passing touchdown in this game. This is what I expected. People thought I was crazy. But uh, look, no passing touchdowns for Peyton. No passing touchdowns for Flacco. Two interceptions for Flacco. One interception for Peyton. Could have been worse. But it was pretty bad. I mean, this game was kind of ugly. But it, it was good if you like defense. 
and I do like defense. And the Broncos' defense looked really, really good. And, uh, I mean, it was exciting. Like I said, the two pick sixes in the third quarter, bookending the third quarter, one in the first minute and one in the last ten seconds of the third there, and that was very exciting for sure. And then that final, you know, uh, play there, well, it wasn't the final play, but how it all transpired, there were 28 seconds left, and Stewart to get that pick was exciting for sure. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Definitely interested to read your thoughts and opinions. But the Broncos win this one with the final score, 19-13, to as they hold on to win this one. Thank you very much for listening. It is greatly appreciated. I hope you're having a good day and had a great weekend and enjoyed all the sports.